On the night of July 30, a special train of more than 40 cars with Russian troops, military equipment and ammunition, which arrived from Crimea to Kherson region's Brylivka station, was destroyed with the high-mobility artillery rocket system supplied by the United States. The relevant statement was made by head of the public council at Odessa Regional State Administration, Ukrainform reports. The enemy's manpower losses were as follows. About 80 killed and 200 injured, Brachuk wrote. According to the intelligence data, all locomotive drivers and engineers of Russian railways, who escorted the cargo, were killed. In total, Russia's total combat losses in Ukraine are thought to have reached over 40,000 troops. According to Odessa Oblast administration, Ukraine hit a 40-car train transporting Russian troops, equipment and ammunition from Crimea on July 31, killing around 80 Russian soldiers and injuring around 200. Advisor to the Minister of Internal Affairs Anton Jeroshenko announced the blast on Facebook. He wrote, On the night of Friday to Saturday, a high-precision HIMARS strike destroyed a train of more than 40 wagons, which arrived from Crimea with manpower, equipment, and ammunition at the Brylevka railway station, Kherson region. He added the manpower of the occupiers turned into coals, equipment into piles of scrap metal, and the BC flew into the air. Mr. Jeroshenko continued, each echelon with military equipment, personnel and ammunition is tracked in real-time from space, day and night. If your relatives work as machinists in Ukrainian Crimea or in the regions of the Russian Federation from which trains with ammunition are delivered to the territory of Ukraine, you should know that they are potential suicide bombers. Reacting to the news, Twitter users celebrated the attack. Mark David wrote, Wow, this is good news. Twitter user The Fall Guy added, Good shooting boys. Ukrainian user Jan Saka joked, Our way of saying welcome to the war, have a blast. And user Kormla added, News we want to be hearing. Ukrainian troops have been consistently targeting ammunition depots and cargoes to slow Russian plans. Last night, a huge explosion also rocked the Russian-occupied city of Skadosk, Kherson Oblast, on the Black Sea. Ukraine said it destroyed a key Russian command post in Kherson district along with a weapons arsenal, killing 12 Russian soldiers on July 10. On July 25, Ukraine forces also used US-supplied HIMARS rocket systems to destroy 50 Russian ammunition depots since receiving the weapons in June. In comments on national television, Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov underlined the growing impact that the HIMARS are having as Ukraine tries to repel Russia's invasion. This cuts their logistical chains and takes away their ability to conduct active fighting and cover our armed forces with heavy shelling, Mr. Reznikov said. Mr. Reznikov said Ukrainian artillery crews had conducted precise strikes on several bridges. He gave no details but was apparently referring to three river crossings in Russian-occupied Kherson region which local occupation authorities say were attacked by HIMARS over the past week. Mr. Reznikov also said Ukraine had received three Jeopard anti-aircraft armored fighting vehicles, the first of 15 expected, and that Kyiv was expecting to take delivery of several dozen Leopard tanks. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can be alerted to our next video. We'll see you again soon on Warzone.